Hey there everybody, welcome back or welcome to the channel, whichever. Today we are back at it with another movie review. And as you can see by the pumpkin in the background there, I think you already know what it is. And if you have been living under a rock for the past, what, 40, 50 years? Well, probably not that long, but at least 30, maybe 40. Today we are doing the movie, the classic Halloween from 1978. This movie, in my opinion, started it all. For me, anyway. Probably not for everybody, but for me it did. Because this was the original slasher, in my opinion. And, probably one of the best movies out there. Again, my opinion. Anyway, now I know it's dark. I know this video is dark, but I purposely did it that way because of the review. So, let's get started. So, Halloween stars Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasance. And the movie takes place on Halloween night. And it is about... A escaped killer named Michael Myers who escapes from the mental hospital in the middle of the night the day before Halloween and then on Halloween proceeds to search after and go after Jamie Lee Curtis and her two friends Okay, so let me give you my thoughts on this movie. Loved it. Loved the movie. I remember when I was a kid, I saw this for the very first time. I'm thinking I was about 12 or 13. And I had never even heard of Halloween up to that point. And a friend of mine let me borrow it. And I put it in, I played it, and I was just amazed because I had never, ever seen a movie centered around Halloween before. And I was just in awe, and I loved it. I was hooked. And so from then on, I just started watching every single one that, was, uh, that came out after. And I believe at that time, it was two, three, and four. And five was on its way. But we'll get into those later. We're going to do a whole Halloween series review. So no need to worry. We will get to all of those in just a little bit. So I put it in, watched it, told my sister about it. And she loved it. So around the house there, everybody was loving Halloween. So anyway, the movie starts off in 1963. And Michael is a little kid. Oh, by the way, before I go any further, if you have not seen this movie, if you've lived under a rock for the past 20, 30 years and have not seen this movie, stop this video and go watch it and then come back and watch this review because there's going to be spoilers all through it. So anyway, you've been warned. So, it starts off in 1963 on Halloween night, and you see a POV shot. Uh, we don't know exactly who it is at the moment, but obviously we know it's Michael because we've all seen the movie. But at the time, we didn't know who it was or what it was. And it's panning around the house and looking through the windows at his older sister making out with her boyfriend and they go upstairs for a little alone time let's just put it that way keep it YouTube friendly and <clears throat> so you see the camera going around the house to the back door going into the kitchen reaching in grabbing a knife from the from the drawer heading upstairs, and 
before actually Michael heads upstairs, her sister's boyfriend is done. He left. He went home. And so Michael sneaks upstairs and basically kills his sister. And heads back downstairs and outside and where his parents pull up and Michael is standing there with a bloody knife in his hand. Now the kicker is, for those of you who don't know and are watching this review without watching the movie first, like I said, he is standing there and he is a six-year-old child. Really never saw it coming. Thought it was awesome. Not that I think that six-year-olds should go out and kill. No, that's not what I'm saying. I just wasn't expecting it to be a six-year-old child. Anyway, so anyway, the movie goes on 15 years later, and in comes Jamie Lee Curtis, who plays Lori Strode. And she's a babysitter, and her two friends are babysitters as well, played by PJ Souls and... Nancy Loomis, I believe that's her name. And anyway, um, basically the movie goes on about, um, you know, goes on and shows you, you know, basically everything that they do that day, which go, is to go to school. And, um, and then after that, you know, they head off to their babysitting, babysitting jobs. But before, in the morning, on her way to school, Lori meets up with Tommy. Tommy Doyle. I almost said Tommy Jarvis. That's a whole other series we'll get into later. Anyway, um, and she's dropping off a key at the Myers place. Because her dad is in real estate. And trying to sell the house. So she's supposed to leave the key under the mat. And little does she know, Michael is standing at the door watching her in the darkness. So anyway, she heads off to school. I'm not gonna tell the whole movie, but come on now. I'm trying to give a review here, I'm new at this, so bear with me. Anyway, so it basically, the movie just goes on throughout the day and night, and some crazy stuff happens. I'm going to quit talking as far as telling the story and tell you about some of the things I liked about the movie and some things I didn't like about the movie. Number one thing, I, here's the things I liked about the movie. Number one, John Carpenter, the director great job he did a great job doing this movie in my opinion him and deborah hill both did this movie directed it i think he directed it and she was there i don't know what all she did but she was there a part of it and so let's get into what i thought number one positive like i said the story was told great. The movie itself was great. Now, one of the things I did like about it was it did not give too much about Michael. I like that. I like the fact that he's mysterious and you don't really know why he's doing these things. He just is. So, in my opinion, when I first watched it, when I first watched this, knowing that it was a mystery and stuff like that made it all that more scarier. Because, you know, this is something that could, you know, happen for real. And you just don't know why. It just does. But anyway, thought the acting was decent it wasn't horrible but it was decent it wasn't great either Jamie Lee Curtis does great 
as far as as the acting goes. I mean, this I believe was her first her first lead role, first movie. I do believe. You might want to check on that. I could be wrong, but I believe it was her first movie, and she did a good job. Donald Pleasance, a pro. I haven't really seen any of his other movies, but he did a great job as far as this movie goes. He was probably the best in everybody's opinion, probably, who's seen this. Anyway, her two friends, Linda, played by PJ Souls, she did a really good job. And her other friend, Annie, played by, I believe her name, like I said, was Nancy Loomis, I believe. They all did good, and the acting all in all was decent. Loved the music. John Carpenter did the music himself. Did a great job. And just made the movie even more creepier just with the music alone. I mean, I've listened to the soundtrack by itself without even watching the movie. And it is, it's creepy. It's creepy music. And I loved how the movie ended. I'm not going to spoil that for those of you who are still sticking around after I said, go watch the movie and then come back. For those of you who are still around, I'm not going to tell the ending. I'm going to be nice. But it is a really good ending and just really done well. In fact, if they'd have just ended it right there and never made another movie, it would have been great. You know, not to say that they shouldn't have made other movies. Some people say they should. Some people say they shouldn't have. In your opinion, you know, my opinion, their opinion, it don't, you know, it's all opinion. But me personally, I like some of the sequels. Not all of them, but there's a few that I do like. So anyway, the acting was really good. And now the negative. If there is any, do I really have any negative? Um, I don't really have any negative now that I think about it. No, this movie was really done well. Um, I don't have any negatives on it. None at all. Man. I don't have any negatives. So, all in all, it was a great movie. No negatives whatsoever. It was done well. Acting was good. Music was good. I honestly don't have any negative. Anyway. And I guess I don't have any negative. Um, I guess I will go ahead and end it. Anyway, hope you, <laughs> I'm just surprised I don't have any negatives. I really don't. Because I figure I would have at least a few, but no, I don't. Anyway, hope you enjoy this review. Like I said, I'm just getting started on these. Um, I'm not the best at it yet, so please bear with me. I'm pretty sure there's other YouTubers out there who do way better than me, but please give me a chance. Like this video if you like this series and liked this review. And please subscribe to the channel. And everyone, take care. And I'll see you in the next.